Thank you, everyone. I'm glad that this bipartisan group could come together at this important moment to celebrate Police Week, to honor the fallen, to honor the service of all of our law enforcement officials and officers across our districts, but to um, honor them not just with words, but with deeds and with concrete action in Congress to make sure we're providing the kind of resources that law enforcement deserves. Now, you've heard a lot about all the pressures that law enforcement face, not only with rising crime, but dealing with a mental health epidemic and an addiction crisis in this country, dealing with issues like homelessness. We have continued to ask law enforcement to do more with less, and it doesn't have to be that way. That's why the 80 towns that I represent, 79 of which have very small police departments, need the kind of resources that are contained in this bill. Talking to my police chiefs, they know that they are struggling to recruit and retain officers. They know that they're having a hard time affording the kind of new technologies that our departments need for the future and to make sure that officers are well trained. So this bill arrives at the right time, and I think it's, it's long past the time for leadership to call a vote on this. You know, not every issue can garner the kind of broad bipartisan support that the Invest to Protect Act has. I want to uh, commend Congressman Gottheimer and Rutherford for their leadership on this issue. Uh, so let's get this done. Uh, let's bring this bill in for a landing. Let's reflect the desire of our law enforcement officials and our constituents and make sure that we are truly funding law enforcement, that, they are, that we are promoting public safety, and that we're taking policing into the 21st century. Uh, so thank you all for being a part of this effort. Let's get this finished.